So the University of Lethbridge Art Gallery is a public gallery. Uh, we're located obviously on the university, but we're um, open to and, and, and attract audience from all over the city. Uh, we certainly welcome people onto campus. Because we're at a university art gallery, we are able to address um, more complex topics, difficult topics, things that require uh, attention in depth. Uh, and we also do a lot of programming where we engage with issues that really matter to people. So we've been doing quite a bit of exhibitions around environmental issues and also around identity. So, and the Un University of Leftwood Art Gallery is definitely known for our collection. We have an unusual collection in the sense of its size, but also that it really has a lot of important artworks in it. So we have over 15,000 works of art, and that is a lot for, a, for an art gallery to have. And we really stand out because we're a small university, and it's a university with a liberal education philosophy. So it's very much about interdisciplinarity, um, so that we connect with students across sciences and humanities and the whole spectrum uh, people who work and study here and that we're the only small university with a significant collection like that and our uh, collection continues to grow so our by far biggest single uh, acquisition of works we got 1140 works in a bequest from Dr. Margaret Marmy Perkins Hess, Marmy Hess. Uh, we got that just over a year ago, two years ago, and it's an absolutely amazing bequest. She was an incredible collector of art. She lived to be a hundred years old. Uh, she herself traveled to the Arctic, so in the 1960s and 70s she traveled to the Arctic and also traveled to Haida Gwaii and the west coast, northwest coast. So she was particularly interested in works by Canadian artists and she did collect by the famous big names, so like Tom Thompson and Emily Carr, and we got those works. Uh, but she also collected directly from Indigenous artists and that was a really unusual focus. Uh, certainly to be doing that in the 1960s and 70s, but even today. So of the 1,100 works we got, more than half of them are by Indigenous artists, and that's just extraordinary.